The Stanford Brain Tumor Center is a multidisciplinary program run within the departments of neurology and the Cancer Institute. It combines specialties of pathology, radiology, medical oncology, uh, neurosurgery, um, neuropathology, as well as a number of care practitioners. The idea of which is to provide as seamless as possible experience for the patients with uh, neurological complications of cancer, including brain cancer, as well as doing clinical and basic research dedicated to helping patients with brain tumor. These are really exciting times for the Department of Neurology here at Stanford. We are uh, really putting a lot of focus on translating the fabulous science that's going on in our labs and bringing that to our patients. I think our CAR T-cell program is a prime example of those efforts that are really bringing together scientists of all different backgrounds together with neurologists and neuro-oncologists. And in this case, we are going for a cure for brain tumors. Chimeric antigen receptor or CAR T-cells are a revolutionary advance in clinical care and management for cancer patients. It is a technology in which we can genetically modify our T cells of our immune system to become specific, to find and identify and eventually kill the cancer cells that might be in the body and in the target tissue of our patients. Glioblastoma typically affects adult patients and typically does not move outside of the brain to other parts of the body. And rather, it has a very infiltrative growth pattern within the brain. The B7H3 clinical trial is a phase one clinical trial in which we're bringing CAR T cells that are genetically modified to target the B7H3 antigen on the surface of glioblastoma brain tumor cells and we're delivering that therapy to our patients and understanding the mechanism behind which it may work in our patients and also the safety and feasibility. And what we're seeing is that not only are we achieving the intended effect, but also patients are recovering neurologic functions that they had lost otherwise as a result of their brain tumor diagnosis. If this trial is effective, it will impact the care of glioblastoma significantly. Despite decades of research and trials, um, the survival is still quite dismal. Uh, there are very few FDA approved therapies for glioblastoma. So if this chimeric antigen receptor T cell trial therapy is successful, that'll improve the prognosis and quality of life of th these patients. Neurosurgeons and neuro-oncologists work very closely in the care of brain tumor patients. Compassionate and innovative care for brain tumor patients requires a multidiscipline approach, uh, not just neuro-oncologists and neurosurgeons, but neuroradiologists, neuropathologists, radiation oncologists, uh, nursing staff, um, research staff. Uh, in this trial, we also work quite closely with our neurocritical care colleagues. For brain tumor patients, I meet with my neuro-oncology colleagues every day to go over patient care. Um, whether it's what trials are on, what the next uh, step of treatment is. Um, but we also work together on protocols and trials, as well as with researchers about translational and basic science projects. I think our patients really appreciate all of the effort, and I think they appreciate the uh, expertise and all of the very high-end science that is coming into their treatments. And uh, it is very rewarding that uh, we see uh, our patients grateful for every single level of the development of these treatments, including ranging from the nurses to the actually very basic scientists that actually discovered uh, those proteins or those targets uh, at first place. As a neuro-oncologist, I'm typically having very difficult conversations in my clinic when I'm delivering this new diagnosis of glioblastoma to our patients. And yet, with this clinical trial, I have had more tears of joy 
in my clinic encounters with my patients than otherwise. And that gives me a lot of hope. And seeing tumors actually um, being treated and having the desired effect that we were hoping for and manifest in our patients who are actually improving clinically over time through the course of their therapy is giving me so much hope that we are a part of a new chapter for patients diagnosed with glioblastoma.